Itu rumah siapa tuh? Everything is gone and there's only one tilted house. 10-year-old Eka, 14-year-old Nana, and their brother, 16-year-old Marwadi, return to their neighborhood for the first time. 4,000 people lived here. Few survived. Bodies float in the water, bake under the rubble. The children take us and an uncle along to find their house. Di, di sini desa Monsinget. There were a lot of houses here, four full blocks. We lived over there at the end. There were a lot of stores on my right here, and here was the fish farm. The day it happened, it was exactly like this, nice and sunny. But today, the waves look nice. When the earthquake hit, Mama was so scared that she started praying. We looked towards the ocean, and all of a sudden, there was the wave. Dad told us to take the motorbike and run away. This is when we last saw him. The three children on their small motorbike raced down this road. The tsunami they could hear directly behind them. They fell off their bike several times. They even hit a pedestrian. They couldn't stop to see how he was. They had to outrun the wave. It was really tall, taller than that tree. When we were on the bike here, I looked behind me and saw a two-story house crashing down, hit by the really tall wave. The water was coming closer, as if a dam had broken. It was about 50 meters behind us, so we continued. Their search for their parents began in a mass of corpses. We both looked at the bodies. Echo was too scared. She waited on the motorbike. We looked for three days. We couldn't look anymore because bodies were starting to decompose. We opened the body bags and we couldn't even identify who they looked like. The children don't talk about losing their parents, but about what they remember. Eka says their father was teaching her to ride the motorbike. Nana misses their mother's singing. Marwadi prayed with their father every day. So they search through the rubble for some sign of their former life. I wish out of all this I could find at least something for identity, a school certificate or something. There's nothing left. They finally see their home. This is our house. This is mom's room. And these were their rooms. This is where I used to cook. This is where I used to wash. She misses cooking with her mother. Nana wants to leave her mark. This was her room. But her pen dies. You can't see it clearly. Nana, Eka, and Marwadi must move on. Brother, there is nothing left. Yes, there is nothing. That is my school. That's the library, and these are all the classes. There's nothing left. I don't know where we'll go to school. No school. Home money, or parents. Their future, uncertain. One year later, I find Nana, Eka, and Marwadi at an uncle's, babysitting his four children in exchange for shelter. Nana goes to a new school. So does Eka, and they now wear Muslim headscarves. Marwadi goes to a new mosque. We have to struggle to survive because we lost those we loved. Allah gave us this challenge and we had to face it. They miss their old home. So we go back. What is it like to be back here? Yes, I am. It's very different now. There's nothing here. 
There should be new houses here by now, but the government doesn't allow the redevelopment because it's too close to the sea. The little left of their house, taken. Someone took the toilet. There are people going through the rubble looking for things to take. This is a broken plate. It was Mama's plate. Why didn't the scavengers take it? What for? It's damaged. The children tell me that even a year later, they still worry about stumbling across bodies. They found a skeleton here not too long ago. Nana, I'm afraid to walk over here. I'm afraid when I see the ocean. They don't like to go much closer. I'm also afraid. The other day I went out there after a low tide and found many bones and skulls. Then he teases. Go further, there's ghosts. Ghosts will take you. It's been a tough year. I feel like I've replaced my father because I have to take care of my sisters. Eka has taken their loss the hardest, her sister says. It is very hard to take care of Eka. She never finishes her homework. I only study when there's a quiz. I tell her she needs to change her attitude because it is very important for her future. I always remind Eka that we have no parents anymore. That's why we need to be tough and do everything by ourselves. Marwadi wants to be a doctor, Nana a nurse, and Eka jokes a hospital manager so she can boss them around. Last time we were here, we came over here and the pen, you tried to write your name on the floor that this was your room and the pen did not work. Yes, the pen did not work when I wanted to mark this ground, so my brother made a sign. This is to protect our family's property. A bulldozer will come and level the land. I'm afraid if I don't put the sign, I won't find my property again. A year after the great tsunami, they have hope for the future, which Eka sings about. <laughs> and their smiles are back. I want us to be successful in our lives, to help others, and I want us to live the way our parents wanted us to. Alex Quaid, CNN, Banda Aceh, Indonesia. Eh, 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 tuh dengar tuh suara abang ada pakai nih.